Hey guys, Tara here from Recovering Book Quarter, and it has been a hot minute since I last talked to you guys. Um, I have decided it's time to make my way back into the FlossTube booktube community, and we're going to start that with a FlossTube today. Um, I'm going to do a whip parade for... I guess we'll call this my into 2024 whip parade as it is March now. Kind of missed the beginning of the year stuff. Um, I can tell you right now that nothing is ironed. I don't even own an ironing board, so I don't iron till I finish whenever I take it over to my mom. And usually I try and get her to iron it for me. <laughs> um, otherwise, I just use her ironing board and everything. So um, I have no order to anything that I'm going to show you. It's literally just in a giant pile next to me. And I will show you my current whips. I will show you um, the the progress that I have made. Some Okay, so back up a second. I did go through all my whips at the beginning of the year and set myself goals for this year on where I wanted to get with them. So for some of them, I've already achieved the goal for the year. Um, and so I'll show you what that was. And then for the ones that I haven't worked on yet this year, then I will tell you what the goal is for this year. Um, so let me show you guys. This year I'm using the um, 2024. This is the Creatively Crafting um, Planner. It is um, Amanda, I'm pretty sure is her name, over at Creatively Crafting. She has an awesome Facebook group that has... Uh, um, free monthly challenges and stuff in it. This is really a really nice journal. Um, I am not sure if I'll get it next year just because there's not quite enough. I wanted something to be able to put all of my whips in, the information about all, all of my whips, and there's not enough space in here to do that. There's only like enough for 12, but there is a digital version that you could then download additional pages that you needed to um, for... I'll show you what those pages look like. It's this. It's like the monthly, um, or it's the project planning pages and where you can really keep track of everything. And I want to be able to do that for each of my whips. Um, so we'll see. I might see if I can download. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, but so far I've been using it. And it's pretty awesome. I've, you know, made it my own. Um, I've got, you know, added a bunch of stickers and things like that. There are um, the first, well, I should, so each month has one of these things and it has a pocket that you can put things in if you needed to. Um, I'm not really using the pockets right now. Um, there's a goal page here. Uh, for the year and then the year at a glance where you list how many stitches you have each day and I've never been a stitch counter so this is new for me then you color in for each day that you stitch let's see there's some other stuff in here I'll just show you guys what I'm doing how I'm doing it so for some I was able to put in like here's one of my projects here um, that I started this year and then I have, at the beginning of January and February, there is um, some like graph paper. So you could really design your own stuff if you wanted to, but uh, I'm not that good. So um, I just listed out my goals on each of these first pages with boxes I can color in. Then you have a monthly um, shopping list, the challenge for the month. And then, like, if you hit certain challenges or certain things, you get points and you get to enter to win. There's something different each month. Um, stitch count goals. Then a board, bingo board, with different prompts in it. Then this is at the cover of each month to keep track of what you worked on and the total amount of stitches. There's a whip report card for the month. Monthly progresses and finishes. And for each week, you can see 
you like write out well for me i'm using it to just kind of highlight what happened each day if i finished a book if i'm listening to something um just a brief highlight for each day of the week and then you keep track of your progress over here and how close you are to your goals and then i just like to add stickers because i love stickers so that's how my planner looks um i like i said i really do like it a lot there are a couple things i would change but this is i mean it's great quality look at that very nice very nice it also came with a really nice pen that has a stylus on the end that is perfect for marking off and um i use the uh Markup XR pattern, or, or instead of Pattern Keeper, I use Markup XR because I have an I have an uh, Apple. Okay, sorry, that took like way too long. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first project I'm going to show you is um, a project that I started with Rainy from over uh, at Rainy Day Reads. This is what I'm currently working on right now. I literally just took out the Q steps so that I could show you guys. We started this. I want to say two um, Octobers ago for Shake, is it Shake Temper or Shake Tober? It's for the Shakespeare month that um, Rainy does. Rainy's real into Shakespeare um, and does some different challenges with other friends in the BookTube community and things like that. Rainy also has a wonderful Floss Tomb cha channel, which I will link down below. But um, I had seen this and I tagged her in it and said, hey, we should totally do this. And um, so we started it about two years ago. Like I said, we got together and had a stitchy day for this one um, at a town that's like right in between us both. I'll show you where I'm at and what my goal is for this year. So this is called um, Shakespeare Quotes and it is by Taylor and Cromwell. They do have an Etsy shop in addition to a shop um, just like a normal web, web shop also. I'll try and remember to link all the shops um, in the description box down below. So not a huge Shakespeare fan, but all of the quotes that are in this one, these are some of my favorite quotes and I just didn't realize that Shakespeare is actually the one that read them. So um, for this, I am using a 18 count black Ada. Um, it's quarter yard and I have little boards over here to hope hopefully keep down on some of the some of the see-throughness so this is where I am at right now uh, my goal is to finish the house at the bottom so that's what I'm working on right now and I have to say um as much as I love this pattern and as much as I adore what cross stitch looks like on black I despise, despise stitching on it. It is just not fun. So I can only do it for so long before I have to move on to something else. So what I have discovered about myself is even if something is charted for black, I am going to do a dark fabric color, but not actually black. I just, I don't like it at all. All right. So that's what we're working on right now. Um, the next one is going to be a UFO. So um, my daughter was really into Coco. And um, I ended up, she asked me if I would do a cross stitch for her. So yes, I ended up buying the wrong pattern. It's a full coverage pattern. Um, and by the time I get this done, she's just not going to be into Coco anymore. And so I asked her, I was like, do I really need to keep doing this? And she said, no. So um, I am going to UFO this. But I'll show you the pattern. It is um, called Secret of Coco. And it's right there. It's quite large. It I was doing it on 25 count. So it was um, 16 by 11. And let me see if it says how many stitches there are. It's 400 by 284. So all I had done, and I just, honest to God, I just dreaded getting it out. So, um, I was using a piece of gridded 25 count Ada, and I think I was doing tent stitch. And this is all I, all I had done on that. So, not a whole lot. Obviously, I'm going to take it out of this fabric so I can reuse the fabric for something else. And I mean, it was fully kitted up. I've got all the gazillion different DMCs in here 
but you know those will easily be able to be used with a million different projects so that's my ufo for the year and i'm pretty sure that that was my only ufo um and so we're going to just pass that one on <laughs> um okay this one is um, the Haunted Library Sale, and um, this was by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. This was a stitch along in 2022. Um, I really love this pattern, but I, I'm not super far on it. So my, my goal for this year was to finish chapter one, um, which I did, and I'll show you guys in a second, but I can't remember if this is the completed pattern I think this is, ooh, I don't know. This might not be the fully completed pattern. This is just the last one I had printed out. So that's kind of what it'll look like, but I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that. Um, on this one, I am using a 16 count Sprite Ada, an eighth yard from Picture This Plus. And this is nice and big, I'll have enough to get something else on the other side so this is what I have so far oh the blowing out the color oh yeah I really like it um this was this project was killing me though <laughs> I restarted it three or four times um had to rip out and restart and like I love it but this I was just having a really hard time with the actual stair part but I love all the little bibby bobs in there um it's just so fun so that was my goal was to do what you see here um I am hoping once I hit my goals on everything I'm hoping to be able to come back and of course um just work on what I want for the rest of the year and I'm making nice progress so far yeah the sad part is I always get them when they're first released too and I just I have so much stuff I want to stitch it's just hard to get to it all okay um this next one was a new start for this year I do not have a pic or I don't have um an actual printout of what it looks like so I'm going to put the picture over here um, this is called Pride Street, and this is from, I want to say, Black Cat Designs, maybe? Um, I will have the name of the designer on there, too. Um, and this is a huge, massive piece of linen. Um, I thought I had this printed out for some reason. Um, this is weird linen. So, I got this off of Etsy, and it definitely says it's linen. But it's like I'm doing one over I'm doing one over one um and it's like a 14 count it's it's I've never seen anything quite like it I mean this is gigantic this is huge 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 so um my goal this was a new start like I said my goal was to complete the first house which I did do and I want to put this in my office. I'm the COO at a mental health agency and this, I already have plans where I want to put this. Um, it's awesome. That is what I completed. And this actually stitches up super quick. Um, I, it's, it's a really fun stitch. So I highly recommend this one. I like it a lot. Although it's so big, the uh, fabric's quite Un unwieldy you know what I mean um like even whenever I uh you know like magnet it all up so that it's up on my q-snap it's it falls down all the time like it's just too much weight even for the magnet to hold so all right that's that one okay moving on I have coffee break and this was by Who's this by? I have no idea who it's by. I got it on Etsy. I'm not saying a designer name. If I can find a picture of it, because all I have is the chart. I don't have an actual like picture picture. 
if I can find the picture picture for it, I will put it over here so you can see what it looks like. Otherwise, you're just going to have to see what I have done so far. Um, and there's going to be a total of, I believe it's 12, um, 12 different coffees. I also don't know what this fabric is because it was I had used it on something else I want to say I want to say it's a 16 count it's definitely picture this plus I don't know what it's called though um what the actual fabric dye is so this was my goal was to complete two of the squares which I have done and I what I want with this one is I have a coffee bar in my kitchen and I want this to be over by my coffee bar, but I love this. It's super, super fun to stitch. And I have a hard time putting it down once I hit my goal, but I really want to make sure I achieve all my goals for this year. So that is coffee break. Okay, moving on. Let's do, so this one, I just finished my goal. Um, the other day here is this going to be like my year of the frames because I have so many really nice um charts that I frames are just so boring <laughs> if it was up to me I would just work on the motifs but I need to get the frames done so my goal for this year is to complete frames um and so that's how it is for this one so this is Plum Street Samplers it is still bloggers that is what it will look like right there. This is my first Plum Street Samplers and I'm liking it a lot. Um, I am stitching this with the fancy floss that it calls for. Um, it has NPI. Yeah, I'm using the NPI. Um, I think there was a couple that may have been out of stock, in which case I was subbing DMC, I think, for the ones that were out of stock. Out of stock. But this is my first time ever using MPI. And it stitches like a dream. It's the difference between stitching with cotton and silk is exceptional. So I can tell you. Um, so this one I am stitching on a quarter yard um, 32 count heritage Lugana from Picture This Plus. And here is what I got done. I finished the frame. And I had already had that part, that little star done, but so this one's really nice. I can't wait to get started on some of the inside. Um, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And like I said, stitching with that NPI is just chef's kiss. It just slides through like such a dream. <laughs> I love it. It just, it doesn't, um, it does not, not up the way the cotton does. Um, it's just it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Then we have, oof, I hate when my project bag's not open. Um, okay, so this was my leap year start. Um, so on leap day, I started this. I just did a one day focus on this and my goal is to complete it by the next leap day, which is in four years. It is a full coverage piece. Now let me, here's my thing about full coverage. I personally, I, <laughs> this is going to be a controversial opinion. I don't like hates. I hate confetti. Um, for me to pick it up and work on it. And you'll see, I do have at least one. I have two full coverages that have a lot of confetti in them. And it's like torture to pick them up and work on them. I am going to do them though. Um, but this one is full coverage. However, it's full coverage without confetti. And so um, I actually, I, I'm perfectly okay with, with this one. I'm okay with full coverage that's not full of confetti. It has nice large blocks of color. So um, I will put a picture of this one over here. This is Lost No More. Um, I don't know who the designer is. I can tell you this is a um, a picture that's been around forever. My grandmother had a paint by number that she did of this that was hanging in her upstairs from the time I was little. I'm 43. Am I 43? I'll be 43 in April. Um, 
and it was there as long as I had been, I've been alive. So it, it was old, but I just have a, um, I actually think it's a pretty decent start for only one day. So this is just on a piece of, um, white Ada fabric. It's a quarter yard, 18 count. It doesn't even look like there's an actual designer for, for it. It's just boring old white. And this is what I got done. I just wanted to make sure I had that the right way. So, um, it is what I have done so far is tent stitch. I think it's all tent stitch, right? And that's what the pattern calls for. There's a bunch of tent stitch and then you get into full crosses as the pattern goes on. But so that was my leap day, leap year, new start. And um, I really love an excuse to start a new project. <laughs> Don't feel so guilty. Okay. So that's that one. All right, let's look at, we're kind of going through all the ones that I've laid hands on so far in 2024. Um, here's another one that we, the goal is to do the frame. So this is called Beautiful Sampler. It is by Twin Peak Primitives. Beautiful. I love bees. I love them so much. So it had the word bee in it and it has a couple bees in it. And so I needed to do it. I am stitching this on a picture piece of picture this plus 18 count Harold Ada. It's a, um, yeah, this is a beautiful color. So that is what I have completed. The outside frame. I am using the called for DMC. And you know, as boring as frames are, oh, I'm totally holding this the wrong way. Strike that. It goes this way. <laughs> so if you look, there's little flower vases here. So that's how it goes like that. Um, as much as I, you know, frames are boring, once you get into them, they're so easy to just kind of complete, get into like a pattern and keep going. It's easy for me to be able to watch other floss tubers. Well, I am working on frames because I don't necessarily need to have my um, XP markup thing up on my phone to do that. All right. This next one um, was a new start for this year. And my goal is to complete this this year. Um, and I am now in love with this designer and want to stitch so much this is the only one that you'll see but i have a bunch of these now on my wish list because it's so much fun to stitch and that is um tiny modernist <laughs> so here we have uh the yule goddess by tiny modernist and is she not gorgeous so um one of the girls that i work with she celebrates yule and she is one of those people that like i've known her for a very long time and i just feel like I've known her forever and she has like, I love to be around this person. <laughs> um, she, she just has this presence and she's so calming and she's just the most wonderful person. Um, and so when I saw this, I was like, I want to make that for her because she celebrates Jewel. And, um, this is the first time I stitched on linen that I was like, I love, I'm, I'm actually enjoying stitching on the linen. Um, it came, it was actually the pattern itself and stuff was a gift for my sister-in-law for Christmas. Um, and she gave it to me all kitted up and everything already, which was wonderful. So, um, this is a quarter yard of grasshopper linen, um, weak style works. And I will absolutely stitch on weak style works again. So that is where I am. So, um, in order to complete this, the first month I did more stitches than I needed to. Um, so if I do 1,241 stitches each month, then I will definitely have this done by the end of the year. The first month I did 3,675 because I had calculated wrong based on how the pattern was pulled into cross stitch or into um, stitch XP, markup XP. Why can I never think of what that's called? 
so I did too many the first month and that's okay I did the um, what I needed to for the second month and so I'm kind of like right on track for that um, and that's using DMC threads um, it's in this fun project bag uh, from um, Black Needle Society I got this this was their I got both of the Halloween boxes this year and this was in one of the Halloween boxes Okay, then this is the last one that I have worked on so far this year. The rest will be ones that you'll see. And I haven't finished my goal for yet yet for this one from this year. Um, so I'll be pulling this back out at some point. So this is Little Dove Designs, uh, a stitch for all seasons. And this is the winter pattern. And this is what it looks like. Now, let me preface this by saying this is one of the very first projects I started when I came back into stitching, and it was before I understood how to measure fabric and how to figure out what I needed. So this is actually never going to be framed. I'm thinking maybe I can get my mom to turn it into a pillow for me because I have like six stitches of extra on each side. <laughs> Not even like a half an inch. I mean, it's kind of insane what I... Have left so this was on a piece of um you can't really see the color here the fabric that I had found at Michael's you can see that's all the space I have between the edge and the thing so um my goal is to finish was to finish this bottom part and this up the side so um yeah I had to go all the way over with the frame because I needed to make sure I was gonna have enough enough room um and I do just barely and thank god those edges of my fabric are um my mom stitches them for me so that they don't fray because there's I can't lose any of this fabric around the edges let's be honest all right I'm gonna take a quick break to grab lunch and I will be back with you momentarily okay back from lunch I realized that that entire first half of the video I forgot to have my ring light on. So hopefully this one goes, you, it, it is better color wise and things like that. Cause I have my ring light on now. All right. Um, like I said, the rest now I have not touched yet this year. Uh, so I will tell you what my goals are for each of these. So this next one is called Alice Meets the Caterpillar. It is by Kayoko Maruko. Uh, published by Creative Poppy. And this was in the Stitchy Box um, Alice Countdown. I love Stitchy Box. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm a huge, huge Alice in Wonderland fan. So this I am stitching on um, a 16 count Whimsy Ada. It's an eighth yard from Picture This Plus. And let's see. This is what I have done so far. This is using DMC, it's called for DMCs. That's what's complete. And my goal is to finish um, the flowers that are over, the flower that you see, there's more flowers that go there, and then to finish Alice. And isn't that pretty? So pretty, love it. Yeah, it is whenever you do a whip parade, like, you look at your stuff and you just want to stitch on every single thing that you own all at once. I am finding though that whenever I have these little focus goals, it definitely is helpful. Okay. Um, I should also say part of what we're doing too, I'm also looking for a pattern. <laughs> um, I have a fully kitted up piece that I started and was there whenever I went through my whips earlier. I had a set my goal, my goal is to finish it. It's supposed to be a gift for my cousin. And I have gone through these bags at least five times each and have not found it. Um, it was supposed to be my focus piece for February. So that's the other thing we're doing. We are looking for this pattern. Fingers crossed that we find it. Anyway, Lola Crow, this is the Greenhouse of Oddities Stitch Along. This was from last year. Um, trying to find the picture. So this is not the complete picture. Um, this is 
just the frame and this is actually um my goal for this year is to do this part here so this is what that frame looks like um i will try and find the completed picture and put it over here so you can see what it's going to look like when it's all done but my goal is to do everything that you just saw on that picture and i am stitching this on a quarter yard of 18 count ada sterling is the color and it is picture this plus i'm picture this plus girl so i don't have much done on this yet um it's gonna be I well i don't know my guess is it's probably about the same size as the library but we'll see this is just so i can make it smaller for you so this is what i have done so far which is just the top of that greenhouse and this is fun um i'm really excited about the new stitch along coming out um that's going to be released this month and it is a under the it's like dark sea things um which i'm like a glutton for punishment one of my fears is under the sea i love under the sea but i will not go into the sea because let me just tell you we are interlopers in the ocean I, I, nobody can get mad whenever there's an attack that occurs on a human when they're in the ocean we don't belong there and the things in there are scary so um i have like nightmares about the ocean stuff but i also like love it and i'm drawn to it so I'm, I'm excited about that one um like i said i'm pretty sure it's this month that it's released okay this next one is a custom um so taylor and cromwell who you will see you already saw one you're gonna see more from them too they will do um custom charts and um I had them do a custom chart of all of my favorite lyrics. And so this is, and, and I told them the colors to do it up in. Um, and I'll show you the, the floss I plan on using. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's the same vein, but it's not gonna be exactly what you see on here. And I did not use black for the background. So this is what the chart looks like um and they're very very reasonably priced you can go onto their website or through etsy to order a custom and you just go back and forth with them they send you mock-ups and you tell them whether or not you like it absolutely 100 percent worth it so this is um a quarter yard of harold ada another harold i like the harold color and this is picture this plus again so what i have done so far is that which is going to see um or it's going to say now people talk to me i'm slipping out of reach now so that's the first lyric that i am um i'm stitching my goal for this one is to complete fully complete two of the uh lyrics so i'll be completing that one that i just told you about and then i'll probably do the one right underneath it which is i would walk through hell just to hold your hand um and the flosses i'm using so my favorite colors are blue purple um i just love them blue purple green things those all look so good together so i am using flosses a lot of flosses that came in um stitchy boxes they're fancy flosses um some flower silks um some over dyed <clears throat> so let's see i'll just see if i can hold these up to show you um throwing some dmc in too probably uh but these are the colors i plan on using in there aren't they beautiful love them so who do we have here? College garden, cottage garden threads, flower silks by stitchy or by flower uh, by stitchy box, and and thread works, over dyed. And then I do have some DMC in here. We'll see if I end up using it or not. It's just a bunch of different blues and purples. And accidentally used two different purples on this but i kind of like the way it's looking so 
they're close enough, but there's kind of a little bit of a contrast. All right. Then I have uh, All Hollows Eve, designed by Misty Purcell from Luminous Fiber Arts. And this was, I believe, in the Stitchy Box, Halloween Box. I'm pretty sure it was Stitchy Box. Um, and that is what the chart looks like. And let's see where. Oh, okay. So the um, fabric for this one is a Wichelt Perman Ada China Pearl, and it is a 14 count. Whenever I first started, I had gotten a bunch of um, a bunch of different fabrics. Whenever I finally discovered like fun fabric, um, and a lot of it came in 14 count. I'm not. That's not what I am drawn to now. 14 count. I prefer. Um, probably 18 is my favorite, but, um, I, I want to use up the stuff that I got that was 14 count. So my goal, I'm showing you, my goal for this year is to do the frame. Again, here are the frames. And so far, this is what I have complete. So not too complicated. Um, once I get started and get into it it should go pretty quickly and I love seasonal stitches but I don't stitch seasonally so I have no problem picking up um uh, you know Christmas in the middle of summer and Halloween in the middle of winter and all that stuff so um I'm kind of just like pulling whatever's on top and that's what I go to next okay next we have Um, this is by, by the Bay Needle Art, and it's called In My Father's House. And that is what it will look like. Gorgeous. And for this, I'm using 32 count sandstone tea dyed linen. I'm not sure who the, I don't know who the, um, the brand is for it but uh, my goal on this one is I think to do the house let me see yeah so my goal for this one is to complete the house which that so this whole middle part here and um, I don't have a whole lot done but it is a start oops whole hair so this is the little studs that I have so far, which is just the front door. So I want to do that house this year. And I think for this, what am I using for this? This is DMC. I'm using DMC for this and it's stitched um, two over two. All right, then we have Oh, this is um, the uh, Black Vintage Sampler from Owl Forest Embroidery. This is Stitching by the Shore. Um, got me turned on to this one. Now, I am I know it's called Black Vintage Sampler. I'm not doing it in all black. I'm using, um, I'm using different colors, which I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I am using Sulkies for this. And this is on a quarter yard of Picture This Plus Jade, Ada, 18 count. And I only have a small start on, but, and this is my first time working with um, Salky, and I love it. Love it, love it. So my goal is the frame. So as you can see, um, this fancy frame, that's my goal is to do that for this year. And this is the start that I have. Isn't it pretty? So I'm just using one piece, um, one strand of Sulky. And these are, I'm using, well, all my favorite kind of colors. Teals and purples and, oh. Hard to show. 
see I've got lots of like teals and blues and purples. I have a variegated, um, no, that's not the variegated. Is that variegated? No, that one's variegated there. Um, and then those colors. So I'm excited to get back to this one. Um, I really, really enjoyed using the salty. Okay. Next up we have um, All Parties Are Advised to Chill. This is from Bendy Stitchy. And this was one of her um, Patreon charts. I don't, I'm going to, I'll find a picture of a completed model for you. I don't want to show you this because it's just the chart itself. Um, but I am stitching this on a piece of linen that I have received in one of the stitchy boxes. Um, so we'll just call it, a, what, did, what do they call those? There's a name that people will call those. Um, I don't know, anonymous, random linen. <laughs> uh, and this is... What I have done, and my goal is to do the frame for this one. And that's what I have completed so far. And this is going to be a piece for my office at work also, because seriously, all parties are advised to chill at all times. Sometimes we all just need a reminder. And I love Bendy. Bendy Sitchi is Michelle over at Bendy Sitchi is just one of my absolute favorite designers, hands down. Um, I usually finish her stuff, so her I have finishes of hers in my closet. Um, maybe I'll show you guys one day. Okay, next up we have Vintage Halloween Carousel from the Witchy Stitcher. I love haunted, um, any kind of haunted, uh, circus carousel like I, I love all that the night circus is my favorite book by Aaron Morgenstern um I just it's like the aesthetic I love so this is what it looks like and I am doing this on let's see where's my sticker I've learned to take my stickers off and just put them on my right onto the pattern so I am using a 18 count haunted Ada, it's a quarter yard from Picture This Plus, and using the, um, am I using the call for, I feel like maybe I did, did I do a conversion, I may have just picked colors that I felt were similar, unless they're just so off from here, let's see, no, it's these ones, they just look very different on the model than they do in real life. So in any case, um, I don't have much of a start for this one. My goal is to finish one full page and this is all I have done so far. Just the flag at the very top of the carousel there. And Witchy Stitcher is another Patreon. That's a Patreon by follow. Um, super excited about the tarot she is putting out this year. I'd actually like to cross stitch a full tarot set. I think that'll be very, very cool. Okay, next up we have another carousel. This one really reminded me of the Night Circus a lot because it's the correct colors. Um, this is called Wicked Fair Sampler. Looks like that. And who is this by? Atomic Tiki Pins is who, who charted this one. Um, and this is on a eighth yard of 18 count Aerial Ada from Picture This Plus. I think this must be the top right. Um, so that's what I have completed. Is it focusing? And my goal for this one is the top left. Yeah, top left, the red and white from the top left. So my goal is to do the red and white from this side here for this year. And I'm doing that one in um, DMC, all the called for DMC. 
All right, next up, this is one of my older whips, and it's also one of my favorites. So this is called um, Night and Castle. It's from Stitching Spell. And this is what it looks like. Now, I am not doing monochrome. I am doing my, you know, my favorite colors, the blue, <laughs> blues and purples. Um, this one... Do I have? I don't know that I have the sticker for this one to tell you what the, the fabric is because I didn't start keeping track of that stuff until it was a little bit in. Um, so, yeah, I don't have, I'm not sure what this fabric is, but it, I can tell you it's picture of this plus and it's Ada. That is what I can tell you for sure. And this is going to be a gigantic piece once it's done. So, this is what I have completed so far. I mean, look at how. How big that's going to be. That's all I have completed so far. And I, this is so fun to stitch once you get it started. Um, my goal for this one is to complete two pages, I believe. Or no, wait. Yes, my goal for this one is to complete two um, additional pages. I'm excited to get into some of those motifs on the edge um into these because this is where I'm, you're going to start seeing the color changes so the middle is all done using so the middle is all done using dmc 820 um and then we'll get into other pretty purples and pinks and some variegated and this is just a, a super fun one and i'm also a huge fan of stitching spell all right, next up, we have one from Happy Mood Point. This is another one of those that I started before I understood appropriate margins on fabric. So um, I think what I'm going to do with this is I have a an artist portfolio. It's a real big artist portfolio to, to put some of my cross stitch in. So that may be what happens with this one. Um, I don't know. Or we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's not going to be framed. I can tell you that. So this is what it looks like. So fun. I'm not doing this one monochrome. As you guys will soon tell. I can't picture doing a fully monochrome piece. I don't think I have any here. Um, it just doesn't really appeal to me. So I use lots of colors. Um, again, this is fabric. That I, I think I had just got this fabric from Michael's. Um, it's just plain old white. Eight, uh, 14 count. I would never do this on 14 count moving forward, but um, it's what we have done so far. And I've started using fancy flosses. Some of the, oh, it's a lot of DMC, but then I started using fancy flosses on the bottom motifs there towards these ones are with fancy flosses from Flower Silk. This one's super fun to stitch too. So I would definitely make different decisions about this one, um, obviously starting with the fabric but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna I'm, I'm just enjoying stitching it so it is what it is um my goal for this one is to complete the bottom left corner so I think my goal is to like complete from probably this section down in here is what I would like to do all right, then we have one that I think is pretty popular. I've seen several people do. This is Flea Market Flowers from um, It's So Emma Stitchery. And it's by Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet. And this is what it will look like. For this, I am using a piece of 14 count DMC from Charles Craft. It's iridescent Ada. Um, 15 by 18. And you'll see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but I had started something else on here and you can see that I have frogged it because <laughs> it ended up not being the right size. So eventually that will get covered right there. You can see where I had frogged stuff out. So eventually that will be covered up. But so this is what I have done so far. And my goal for this one is the side motifs. So the ones going down the side here, which would be 
these. So I want to, I want to do this, the motifs on this side here. Whew. Still haven't found the project that I lost. We still have a lot more to go through though. So I should have warned you guys this was going to be long. Okay. Uh, next up, we have another stitching spell. This is, um, Q number six. I think it was just called the Halloween sampler was the actual name for it. Um, but this is what it looks like. Can you guess if I'm doing this in all black? Mm -hmm. Um, Again, this is one of the first projects I started. I want to say that I ordered this fabric through Amazon, and it's a 14 count Ada, I think maybe Sterling or Platinum. Um, but this is what I have done so far. I am using some satin, um, right? Is that what that's called? Right? I think it's satin. The one that's real slippery. Of course, it doesn't actually say it on the thing. The S numbers. The S numbers. Um, and some variegated floss and some light effects. Um, I just wanted to have fun. You can see, like, here's... And I did... I've already screwed up on it, so... <laughs> I didn't understand how to use variegated thread. And, uh, you know, I, I'm learning. I've learned stuff. But you can see the light effects in the, um, here, in the skulls and then in those acorns. And I hate stitching with it, but God, I love how it looks. Really, really do. Um, probably would have done the variegation at the bottom differently, but he, you know what? It is what it is. It's cool. It's cool. So my goal for this one is the top right quarter. So... Up right. I wonder if I meant left. I wonder if I meant right when I was looking at it. So probably finish this entire part here because this is the area I was working. So I'm probably going to finish like if we went from like under here, something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but I like doing this one. And then we have another Taylor and Cromwell. This was from their rent, um, their rent box that they put out. And this one is called 525,600 minutes. Uh, so that is what it will look like. And their boxes come with all the floss, comes with the fabric already. And it's nice because the fabrics already has the um, outside stitching done. So I don't have to worry about it. So this is what I have done so far. And my goal for this one is to complete that number six. So all the writing that's in it and the fill-in, which is going to be red. Um, so yeah, that is the goal for that. Next up, I have my <laughs> Confetti Heavy full coverage piece. Oh, I got talked into this one from Rainy. Um, but I love Lord of the Rings and hobbit is what i want to be and the shire is where i want to live and i want to live in a hobbit hole and so when i saw they were doing this i was like can i please join in um i haven't made it very far but this is called the shire painting and it's by thread of magic thread of magic yeah thread of magic so that's what it looks like and oh, i love it it's so beautiful um this one is 261 by 400 stitches i'm doing it on a half yard of 18 count pre-gridded um pre-gridded ada and sorry because i have some parked threads here oops so this is all i have done this is just the top <laughs> the top left corner <laughs> so not very much um you know i think part of the problem with the confetti and the hate i know this isn't a hate but like with this type of chart is that I haven't figured out my ideal way of doing it. Like, do I do color completion? Do I do cross country? Do I do the parking method? I, I just I haven't figured it out yet. So my goal for this one is one page, I believe. 
No, I take that back. My goal for this one is the top two rows of page one. Because I know that I'm not going to have fun doing it. <laughs> so that's what we have for that. Um, moving along. Another Taylor and Cromwell. This one is the tool, 10 Dual Commandments. Um, this is from Hamilton. One of my favorite songs. One of those songs that I like just walk around singing in my head all the time. So it has the 10 Dual Commandments listed out there. Um, I This was just a piece of black Ada that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, please excuse it because I'm sorry. Black gets dirty so easy. Like, it's so gross. But <laughs> this is what I have done so far. Um, again, it's black Ada. So, you know, I love how it looks. I hate to stitch it. Uh, but... I, I can't wait to have it done because I want it on my wall. So for this one, my goal is complete commandments four and six. So to finish up this line and number six down here. So five is totally done. So I'm, my goal is to complete four and six. And I own so many more Taylor and Cromwell Hamilton charts. So many. Okay. Um, next up. We have Jack Frost Tree Farm by Little House Needleworks. Um, there are several different parts to this. Like this was just, this was one of them. Um, it was a seven part series and I decided this is the part that I liked. And so this is the only one I'm doing. Um, and it looks like this. Super duper cute. And I'm doing this on an eighth yard of Fog Ada from Picture This Plus, 16 count. And I'm using the called for flosses, which is classic color works. Um, this, let's see, that's the back. So this is what I have done so far. And my goal for this one is from the left side, so from over here to the end of the house is to complete. So that stuff there, that's my goal. Next up, we have from Creatively Crafting, this was their Soulmate Style, Soulmate's Sal. And this was from 2022 maybe? Ooh, it's been a while, it's been a while. Um, let me see if I can find the completed picture or if I just have, okay, I'm going to put the completed, hopefully I can find it, the completed soulmate cell picture over here, fingers crossed I can find it. Um, I am doing this on a piece of fabric that I got from, this might have been like my first one, two, three magic order this fabric. I think it may have been. And I didn't save the the thing. I want to say it's like a, a platinum. Um, but it has one, two, six couples from history. Um, fictional couples from history. Well, yeah, fictional. So this is what I have done so far. I've got Lucy and Ricky, Persephone and Hades. No, I'm not, <laughs> not Will. This is Wilma and Fred. Um, Persephone and Hades, Lucy and Ricky's down here. So my goal is to complete the Lucy and finish up Ricky. And then over here is going to be Danny and Sandy from Greece. Um, and then in the bottom is Baby and Johnny from Dirty Dancing will be down here. And then it's the couple from Bones, which... I'm not super thrilled about because I'm I've literally never watched an episode of Bones. Um, I'm happy with all the other couples. She had talked about putting out some alternative couples. I've looked. If she did, I have never seen them. Um, so I guess I'm stuck with the Bones people um, because I don't think I could rechart anything else. But that's a fun one. 
All right, another Taylor and Cromwell. This was from the Golden Girls box. And um, it came with the stuff to do one of the designs. Mine is the rose design. And then it came with the uh, bonus patterns for Dorothy, Sophia, and Blanche. So there's the rose design up there on the top. And this is what I have done so far. It came with the fabrics, just the fabric that it came with. And my goal is um, for a full finish for this for this year. All right, next up was another stitch along. You can see I don't do well keeping up with stitch alongs. Um, this was the Disney 50th anniversary. So, um, the Fab 50 cross stitch from Abby Sue Designs. And um, it's based off the 50 golden statues that were in the park. Um, I mean, they're still there, but the 50 golden stat statues that were placed in the park for um, the 50th. And this is what it will look like complete. And this is another massive, massive, massive one here. So, I mean, this is, that's my, whoops, fabric size there. And you can see, like, it goes all, all the way. Um, so this is what I have done and uh, I had to screw up on here, but it's okay. I'm the only one that will know that. Um, well you guys do, but you all know where it's at. So my goal for this one is to finish the top characters. So I want to finish all of this row of characters up here. So we got Goofy. Donald, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, and Pluto. So our Fab Six. And I love this fabric. I can't remember what it was called. It's picture this plus. It's Ada. And I want to say it's 16 counts, I believe. And I'm using all the call for DMC. Still haven't found the missing pattern. Not happy about that. Okay, this next one, um, I charted myself. Um, it's from one of my favorite artists, and I looked and looked and looked and could not find. He doesn't do cross-stitch patterns. So um, I used software and, and charted this one. Um, and so I, I just call it Jesus Smiling. Um, and that is what it would look like, full coverage. This is done on a 20 count, uh, half yard, 20 count, easy grid. Ada, and to excuse my parked stitches, but that is what I have started. And I will put, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name. I love all this stuff. Of course I can't think of his name. I'll put the name of the artist on the page. Here. but obviously that's not one you can get from anywhere oh my goal for that one is the first page my goal is to do the first page on that one all right next up is a temperature goth temperature stitch along um this was put out in 2022 <laughs> i my goal this year is to complete the uh the bookcase and then to hopefully actually do the stitching of the temperatures for 2025. Uh, so this is the chart and it's from Grandma B. Wilden for gothstitch.com. And I'm doing my own colors. I'm using fancy glosses. Um, let's see, who am I using? I'm using Gentle Arts, um, Flower Silks. I'm using Stitchy Silks. Um, anything else? I think that's it. That's mainly it. Oh, wait, what's this one? Who's this? These are all things that came in boxes. Oh, some weak side works. Um, I don't know what the company that is. Um, but it's cotton. It's pretty. So my goal for this one, like I said, is to do the, um, the bookcase 
like essentially the stuff that was the stuff that's not um temperature related is my goal so this is what i have done so far a cute little cat i love the um the carpet color <laughs> i'm using this to me i looked i looked at this and it just screamed to me like 70s shag carpeting um this is called Demeter's Harvest Threads of Myth and Legend by Flower Silk. I mean, is this not fabulous? <laughs> so when I saw this, I was like, that has to be carpet. Um, so that's why it's it's super fun. Uh, and this was a leftover piece of Ada from Picture This Plus that I had from, I don't know, a gift I made, I believe. Next up is... I found it! I found it! <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it because there's two patterns in here for some reason. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. This changes what I'm going to have to do for this month, though. Because I need to get this done because my cousin's going to have her baby pretty soon. All right. So let me show you that first. So this is Hello Baby. And it is by Inna. Actually, the pattern name is Forest, and it's from Stitches Lovers Shop. I'm trying to find a picture. Mm. All right, I'll just put a picture over there so you can see what it looks like. Because all I seem to have down here is the chart. Um, and again, my goal is to finish it, and this is what I have done so far, which is just the top part of the tree. So this I really need to get uh, crack a on. Now that I found it, thank goodness. I was like, I can't, I seriously was concerned I accidentally threw it away because the day I was going through all of my whips to try and figure out what my goals were going to be, I had a big garbage bag in here and I was throwing stuff away and I couldn't imagine I would throw it away. But I guess, you know, by accident, anything can happen. Um, so, okay, super excited, found it. Um, I have no idea where the fabric is or the... Uh, I don't know where the floss is because, okay, that doesn't matter. The floss is easily replaced. Okay, moving along. Look, the goal for this video was to find this chart and I found it, so goal accomplished. Um, and I should say, and you'll you'll have seen the pattern, but um, like the nursery that they did, it's all like, like I mean, it. well, actually, you know what? Let me, I'm going to try and find a picture and put it up here, but it's going to go perfect in that nursery. All right, next is from Heartstring Samplery. And I think that this book was put out um, after market last year. Um, Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. Yeah, March 2023. Yeah, definitely market release. And it came, there was an option to buy um, where you got all of the patterns plus you got a kitted up for one of them, um, the stuff to do one of them. And so I am currently doing in the garden. And this was, uh, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. So that is what this one will look like. And I love pretty much everything in this entire book. Um, I'll be stitching most of it. So I am doing this with, I'm so confused. I'm wondering which of these was in the right, because I feel like this had fancy floss that was with it. Let me see. Yeah, because this one has um, weak style works and cotton color. Okie dokie. No, classic, I'm sorry, classic color works, weak style works, and gentle art. So, I'm going to have to figure out where in the world that floss is. Maybe we'll come across it here. Um, okay, anyway, this is what I have done. And this is on Ada. I want to say a 16 count Ada, maybe. Um, this is what I have done. So pretty. 
and my goal for this one is the top border. So my goal is to finish that, all of that at the top, which is actually it's on the back too. So you can see all that top flowers there is what my plan is. So once I locate that floss, hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to kind of set this aside. I have to figure out how, what I'm going to do with that because nothing's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> Here it is. There's nothing in there. There's no floss. There's no books. There's no pattern except for floss. And they're all fancy flosses. So this is the correct bag for the heart strength software book. So we're going to move that over here. Um, okay, so that's now correct. And then Hello Baby goes in here and I do have all the floss for the Hello Baby. Okay, problem solved. Good to go on that one. All right, the next one is, I just, you should see this pile, guys. Um, the next one is one of my, the very first things I started stitching whenever I came back to stitching. This is Cheshire Cat. Um, Mariana Oz, the company's cross-stitch with art. And it's um, on a 14-count black Ada. I changed it because I was like, oh, this will look fabulous on black. And believe me, it looks fabulous on black. I just hate stitching it. And I have made so many mistakes in this one, um, but I'm just, I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna keep going with it. Uh, Cheshire Cat is like my favorite character ever, 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 ever. So that's what I have done. And literally my goal on this one just says stitch something on it. So that's what we're doing with the Cheshire Cat this year. All right, next up is Oh, this is the um, Morbid Curiosities frame from Stitch Crypt. Um, this is a, like a cabinet of curiosities. This was a sale from last year. Um, I'll put, I'll try and put it over here. I'll try and find the completed picture of what this will look like. But my goal is to do this here for this year. And I am using um, a quarter yard of Mystic Ada, 18 counts from Picture This Plus. This is gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Um, I don't have a lot done, but I have a start. So I have the top of the, very, very top of the frame done right there. Isn't that, that's a fabulous color. It really is. Okay, we are, we are getting there guys, we are almost done. All right, next up we have ooh, project bag stuck. There we go. All right, this is, I think this is the Our Father. Yeah, this is the Lord's Prayer by, um, Le I don't know if it's Lila's studio or Lila's studio. I'm going to, I mean, people, I don't know that's spelled that way. It's Lila, but I could be wrong. So if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But that is what it will look like. And this one is on a um, quarter yard, 18 counts confetti Ada. Picture this plus. You can tell I love my picture this plus, right? I just, it's so soft and easy to work with. Um, my goal on this one is to complete the outer border. This is what I have completed so far. And this one, I am also using Fancy Floss. Um, I've got Salky. And, no, wait, is this Salky? No, not Salky. Just looks like Salky because it's on this. This is my first time using this too. Over a soy? Over a, oh boy. Let's see what this was called. Over, over, over I don't know how to say that. But that's primarily what's being used. And then there's also a Gentle Arts and um, a Stitchy Silk. Just because they didn't, I, they didn't have all of the um, floss that I needed in the, um, in that Aversois. 
So I just kind of went to, um, I have lots of rings of stitchy stuff for my stitchy boxes and, um, just went through and found ones that appeared to match the color on the chart. So that's how I did that. All right, guys, I think I only have four left. Next up, we have um, the, uh, this is the Alice in Wonderland cell. Um, and this was Imogene X Stitch, who only did a couple videos on YouTube. But man, I gotta tell you, I loved her. I absolutely adored her. She's fabulous. I wish she would start making more videos. Hey guys, editing Tara here. Um, as I was uh, going through and editing my video, I realized that I referred to Imogene X Stitch utilizing the wrong pronouns. Um, they utilize they, them pronouns, and I referred to them as a she, and so I just wanna apologize and clarify that. All right, guys, thanks. Um, she does have Instagram, and so I follow her over there to see what she is working on, but she is how I found this Alice stitch along. Um, I will find a picture and put it up here of what it looks like. Um, this is from our Owl Forest Embroidery. This was free. I just cannot get over the fact that this was a free chart. I don't know if it's still free or not, but holy crap, it's huge. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, this is another one I'm using Sulky on and I'm doing my own um, conversion. It's on a half yard of Heritage Ada, 16 count from Picture This Plus. Surprise, surprise. Oh, here's the picture. Okay. You can see right there. That's, that's it. Is it not beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Okay. This is huge. Um, and here's what I have done so far. Oh, is it in? Yeah, there you can see it in the frame. I love Alice in Wonderland so much. And I just think that this is such a fabulous pattern. Um, I always say pattern. And I know it's chart. I know it's chart. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. Let's see. And I really recommend going over and looking at Imogene X stitches because hers is completely, hers is like a gothic color conversion that she did. Um, how fun is this? It's so fun. And my goal for this one is to make it a month focus. So I will get to work on that one for a full month and just look at all those beautiful sulkies. Look at that. All right, guys, two more. No, three more, three more. All right, this one is a gift for my daughter. Um, I can't show you this picture because it's just the chart. I will see if I can find a picture and put it over here. Um, my daughter's obsessed with the Winx Club. And so she found this chart on um, Etsy for me to do. And so this is on um, an eighth yard of 16 count Opal Ada from Picture This Plus. Um, and my goal is, I mean, I don't have much I don't have much of a start, but my goal is to finish it because, I mean, it's not hugely big, but that's, that is all I have so far. And hopefully it won't take that long. I think once I focus and put my mind to it, it'll go pretty quickly. And there's very cool light effects thread in this DMC. You see that? It's pretty awesome. Very, very cool. Okay. And... Here's another one with a goal of finishing. I will put a picture up here because all I have printed out is the chart. This is from Flossy Fox Shop and this is the um, gamer sampler. And I'm doing this on an um, eighth yard 16 count coastal Ada. Um, this is going to be a gift for my husband who's a big, big gamer. And that's what I have done so far. Um, this is super fun to stitch. So I want to finish, finish that. I love Flossy Fox Shop. That's another Patreon that I am currently in. All right, guys, last one, last one. 
so this one was from the um <clears throat> from a just cross stitch this is their halloween 2021 issue it's called bats and flowers and let's see so we can't see the chart this is what it looks like there so my goal is to finish this too. Um, I just kind of keep it living in this hoop right now. So here's the thing. Awesome, awesome chart. Who is the chart by? It is by Avdokia Nikolaevia of Panochka. I apologize if I just completely um, killed that. So I found really, really good priced floss on Timu. <laughs> and I was like, wonder if this is any good um so i got it there was a ton of it and that's why i'm using to stitch this um i will never ever stitch anything with it again i threw the rest of it away because it like just shreds you can only use very small line but anyway this is what i have done so far um and my goal is to finish this this year okay guys Whew, that's it this was very long um if you guys stuck with me till the end i can only say thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart um my goal is to film at least once a month for floss tube um i have a couple things planned you know ultimately i would love to be able to to uh do once a week but i just i'm not sure that my progress will be amenable to once a week but we'll see if there's some additional things i want to do um like when i want to do a, a chart parade with all the i have so many charts guys i can't even explain it to you um i have a couple things i want to give away and um i want to show you my finishes from last year and, and things like that too so again if you have made it this far into this whip parade i thank you guys i'm not even sure how many i have i know that's probably terrible but my entire room is currently covered in charts that I now have to organize and put away. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time I film. Bye.